Are you interested in a 2021-2022 AJB yearbook? If you buy it by Friday, September 24th, you only pay $35. See the yearbook flyer that you received during sixth period for more information or ask Mrs. Ricks. Sylvia Mendez. Sylvia Mendez was born and raised in California, growing up during a time when most Southern and Southwestern schools were segregated. In the case of California, Hispanics were not allowed to attend schools that were designated for white students. They were sent to so-called Mexican schools. Mendez was denied enrollment to a white only school, which prompted her parents to take legal action. The success of their action, in which Sylvia was a principal catalyst, would eventually bring the end of the era for segregation in education. In 1943, when Sylvia Mendez was only eight years old, she accompanied her aunt and brothers and cousins to enroll in the 17th Street Elementary School. Her aunt was told by school officials that her children, who had light skin, would be permitted to enroll. But Sylvia and her brothers would not be allowed because they had darker skin and a Hispanic last name. The sister, her aunt stormed out with her children, her niece, her nephew, and told her brother, Gonzalo Mendez. The so-called Mexican schools were designed to Americanize students. Speaking Spanish was prohibited. It also trained boys for agricultural labor and girls for housekeeping. Sylvia remembers this. We weren't taught to read or write, she said. We were taught home economics, how to crochet and knit. Her father, Gonzalo Mendez, filed a lawsuit with the Federal Court of Los Angeles on behalf of about 5,000 Hispanic schoolchildren. During the trial, the Westminster School Board insisted it was a language issue. However, their claim fell apart when Sylvia was asked to testify. Her testimony proved that the children spoke English and that Hispanic American students had the same capacity for learning as their white counterparts. On January 19th in 1948, Mendez and her siblings were finally allowed to attend the 17th Street Elementary School, becoming the first Hispanics to attend an all-white school in California. The situation was not easy for her. Her white peers called her names and treated her poorly. She knew she had to succeed after her father fought so hard for her to attend the school. Mendez became a nurse and retired after working for 33 years in her field. The success of Mendez versus Westminster made California the first state in the nation to end segregation in schools, paving the way for the better known Brown versus Board of Education seven years later. On April 14th in 2007, the U.S. Postal Service unveiled a stamp commemorating the case. Sylvia was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in February 15th, 2011. This is an award given by the president to recognize people who have made a contribution to the society of the United States, world peace, or cultural or other significant public private endeavor. When I got this award, I couldn't stop crying, Sylvia said, because I was thinking of my mother and my father, and they were finally getting the thanks they deserved. This is not their, um, mine, but theirs. They stood up against the establishment. Today, Sylvia Mendez continues to do educational programs for youth across the country. Question, what state does Sylvia Mendez live in? Remember when you submit your answer to include your first and last name, your grade, 
and your answer. Good luck. ¿Eres bueno con palabras? ¿Interesado en la ortografía? Estamos teniendo un concurso de ortografía en español. Cualquier estudiante interesado necesita ver a la señora Martínez en el cuarto 310 durante la hora de TAG el viernes 24 de septiembre. Here's a volleyball update. The 7th grade teams fell to McCormick last night, but both 8th grade A and B teams defeated McCormick. Way to go, Toros! Go, go, go! To the G! To the O! 